Hi, I'm Dr. Cindy Ross, and today we are talking about sugar, sweeteners, and stevia. Which ones harm your memory? Sugar in the form of glucose is the primary energy source for cognitive functions. However, excessive sugar consumption may lead to impaired memory and link to an increased risk of dementia. The World Health Organization of 2015 recommended free sugar intake of 25 grams per day for an adult of a normal BMI. Sugar intake has also been linked with high blood glucose, high blood pressure, and a constellation of these metabolic risk factors such as metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome has been linked with cognitive impairment and type 2 diabetes, which is also considered to be a significant risk factor for impaired cognitive function. Each year, on average, Americans con consume approximately 140 pounds of sugar. Refined sugar is 99% pure calories and it is a void of any nutrients. Eating the sweet stuff causes blood sugar levels to spike, which triggers the release of insulin. Soon after, blood sugar levels drop, which causes cravings for a sweet treat. It causes a roller coaster effect that keeps you hooked on sugar the same way a drug addict craves addictive substances. How do artificial sweeteners affect your memory? Consuming artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, which is NutraSweet or equal, saccharin, sweet and low, or sucralose, which is Splenda, on a regular basis is not a recipe for good health. It can contribute to chronically high insulin, which increases your risk for Alzheimer's and raises the risk of heart disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and other health problems. There's a wealth of research which has shown an association between artificial sweeteners such as aspartame and cognitive and behavioral problems including anxiety, depression, irritability, and sleep troubles. A 2018 study in nutritional neuroscience concluded that aspartame may be responsible for adverse neurobehavioral health outcomes. So let's face it, sweeteners aren't great for your health. They stimulate your appetite, encourage your sweet tooth, and they pack on the pounds while also placing you at risk for obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and a fatty liver. But we're all human and cutting all sweeteners tomorrow is not realistic. So what are the best ways to sweeten your beverages and food? Okay, so you see I got my little bottle of stevia over here. I'll tell you where I get this. So one is just adding in fresh or frozen fruit, coming in in a number of ways to sweeten your food and drinks by using fresh or frozen fruit. Fruit doesn't have to, it doesn't have any empty calories, which makes it an ideal sweetener. Sugar substitutes, stevia. This is liquid stevia. You can get it in packet or drops. It's a plant form and it is a nutritionist favorite. Not only does it contain zero calories, but stevia-based sweeteners are herbal as opposed to artificial. Stevia doesn't spike your glucose levels. If you have prediabetes or diabetes, artificial sweeteners and stevia are preferable to real sugar. Natural sugar, raw honey, maple syrup, agave nectar, raw sugar, um, raw sugar and honey, <clears throat> they're both, they both contain antioxidants. They have prebiotics that help your gut flora. Raw honey has an added benefit of vitamins E and C, as well as minerals. Honey should, um, it should not be given to infants because it may contain bacteria, which it can cause a serious health hazard for babies. When hitting the grocery store, read all food labels for hidden ingredients because commercial maple syrup brands are often high fructose, corn syrup, and high fructose diets are linked to long-term metabolic complications like insulin resistance, belly fat accumulation, and high triglyceride levels. So when in doubt, stick primarily with pure maple syrup. And when you're looking for a sweetener that doesn't harm the brain or body, stevia appears to be the better choice. Consult with a healthcare provider before using stevia if you are taking medication for blood pressure or diabetes. This is by far my favorite brand of stevia. I found it on Amazon a few years ago when I was competing. It is by the brand Now and it is called Better Stevia. Um, it doesn't take very much to sweeten things up, a couple of drops. So if you need the link, give me a shout. I'll send you over the Amazon link. So if you have any questions or if you're ready to get started, contact my office at 251-949-2220 or visit my website for more information at lifewellnessforever.com.
Have a great weekend.